Hello, once again, welcome to Agitech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read files in Python. So basically, one of the most important things you do is to be working with files in your programs. So you may have a file store within your directory where you are working and you may like to read that files in your program, have access to those files. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can read that. So I'm using the Jupyter Notebook and at least you need to know the directory where you can store those files, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. So this is basically going to show me the directory of my files, where I can save my files and work with them. So if I press Shift Enter, it's going to print that directory for me. So right now, I know that my files are within Agitech, within the users folder. So I can go there. I can open that directory. So I'm basically in that directory. You can see from the top here. So all my files that I'm going to work with, I can save them within this directory and everything is going to work for me. So this is the file I have now. So the file is called months and I have January, February. The reason why I don't, I have not typed all the months is that I'm going to show you how I can update and then when I print out within my program, you can see that the update, updated version is also showing. So this file, let me just, I'm basically going to save this and this is the file. I'm going to copy this and then send it to my directory. Then we we'll look at how we can read this file. Okay, so this is my directory now. I'll just paste this file here and we can see how we can use this in our program. Okay, so we are here now and we can at least, let me just restart, refresh my page and we can go. So now we know our directory now and to print a file, let's, you just have to use an open keyword. So you first have to open a file before you can read it. So you have to take note of that and the name of the file. Basically the name I have now is, you need to put that into code text yeah let me just confirm if it has a spelling okay so i use the text dot txt so this is the name of my file and the next command is going to be whether you are going to write the file you are going to read or you are going to append so you can use e to append you can use r to read you can use w to write the file and then you can use w uh, r plus to read or write but today i'm going to talk about only the r which means we are going to read that file but the files i'm going to read i want to create a variable in which i can store all those files remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime get anytime we upload a new content so i want to create a new variable for my file okay, let me use a camo case my file and the files that i'm going to open i'll store it within this variable and one important thing you need to know is that anytime you open a file and after reading, you need to close it. So I have to call this for my file dot close. Very, very important. And then I want to also check if this file can be read because I've tried opening it and I've indicated I'm going to read that file. So we can use a command or a function to check if we can read it. This is actually going to be a boolean. If I say boolean, it's either going to be true or false. So when we get through that means we can read this file. Okay. So I'm going to say print dot and I'm going to say readable. Okay, let me call the file first, my file. So my file dot readable. So if I get through for this, meaning I can read my file. Okay, so we can see down here that I'm seeing true. Okay, you can see over here that my okay, I have some spelling mistake over here. So so let me run this again okay so you can see i'm getting true over here meaning i can read this file that's perfect so now that we can read this file i'm going to change this command from readable to what read so if i use this command it's basically going to read the files if you see the content of this file over here it's what months january february march so let me print this now so now i say print dot read if i run this code you can see that i've been able to print the content of this so i'm able to read this file for my director which is so amazing so basically this is how to read the file and you can print it line by line so you can even go ahead and say print read line and this is going to read one line at a go so you can see it's only ready the month and we can even see read lines okay and that is going to be you can even target the lines you want to read if i run this you can see how it's printing out this i can target the ones i want to read by using so this is just an array so if i put in this and i put in the first index that's zero index okay so indexing in array start from zero 
and around this it will print the first one if i put in one it's going to print the second one, which is my dot if i put in two you see so i can print it in that order but the read line the read will just give you the entire file so if i go back and then i update this file let me see i try to add in april and then maybe may and i save this around this code again so i'm going to save this i'm going to save this and i think i have to replace the old file in my directory because my initial point that i'm saving is on the desktop so i have to replace what i have within my directory now so let me replace this so i'm going to replace the old one that means i've updated my files let's try let me refresh this so let me try printing this out because i've updated the content and i'll print this out again and let's see so you can see after updating the content of my file and updating it on in my directory as well i've actually managed to what print this out with the updated content so basically this is how to read files in python remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content i'm going to also show you how to read files how to append files that means we can easily use the command to add new files how we can easily write to a file so like this file we can easily write to that file direct from our program and how we can read and write at the same time by using the our plus and all that so remember to subscribe so you don't miss those tutorials this is just a short tutorial to demonstrate how to read a file in python Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe. We have some amazing data science program coming up. So I'll be doing Panda using some important data science libraries in Python. And then we can do some amazing data analysis right here on this channel. Till I come your way another time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.